Welcome to Jackie Land. Yeah. Hi friends, it's Jackie. If you don't know me, I'm usually a daily vlogger and today I decided to bring a review of a spray tan that I got about a month ago, a little less than a month ago, three weeks ago. And it was not a very good experience, so I'm here to tell you about it. Um, I guess the experience itself wasn't bad, but the spray tan was not very good. So I've been self tanning for quite a few years now, um, just with like a lotion or a mousse and putting it on, and it's always been pretty successful for me. I've tried a few different ones that have turned me like oompa loompa color or like just weren't for me. But um, within the last two or three years, I found one that I really, really like that works really well and whatever. But um, for those of you who don't know, I recently, last month, went to Las Vegas for a wedding and um, the bride went and got a spray tan a couple days before and she said she had a really good experience and I of course was going to maintain the tan that I had, which was fake, but I figured getting a spray tan would last longer and hopefully be a darker color than what I could achieve myself. Um, so I decided to go to the place that she went and pay money to get a spray tan done, which was my first spray tan, so I'll just put that out there. But like I said, I've been self-tanning with tanners for a long time. So, um, I don't know that I want to say the name just because I don't want to put them on blast, but at the same time it is kind of a review. So, um, I might end up like linking the name I just I'm not sure yet but anyway it's a place in Scottsdale and they do spray tans and they serve alcohol with it which I didn't partake in um so that maybe that narrows it down for you um so anyway I went there and I had called the day before to ask a bunch of questions about like what I need to do beforehand and um how long it would last and the process and like I asked a lot of questions and what I found interesting was nobody offered up any of that without me asking like had I not asked any of that I wouldn't have known like how to prepare to come there which would have affected the tan like so many things where I was just like they should be telling their people especially a first-time guest all this stuff but I knew to ask it anyway so I was asking so um, I got there and one of the first things we talked about was the color that I wanted and one of my main goals was one to have a tan that would last longer than my tan did which mine lasts about like three to four days pretty well and then it starts fading and it fades pretty well I think and then also for me to be darker than I could achieve on my own. Not a lot darker, just like a little bit darker. Something that I couldn't achieve on my own. Um, and so we talked about that and we decided on the color that would be good for me. And that's, you know, they said, you know, oh, I've got you, I've got you. I'm like, okay. So we go and um, when, when I go in the room, um, one of the things I found kind of odd was whenever I've heard about spray tans or seen reviews of other places or whatever, um, they usually put on a barrier cream for you or at least in the room with you. But I was kind of on my own for that. They literally like walked me over to a big Costco size container of like Vaseline lotion and was like, this is the barrier cream. Put it on your elbows, your knees, your feet, your hands. Basically, if you don't know, any place that's gonna be drier than the rest of your body, it's gonna absorb more of the tan and then you're gonna become darker or splotchy in those areas. So you wanna put on a barrier cream. Well. I figured that they were gonna like do that or at least help me out with that and they didn't they just kind of were like this this is what you're supposed to do do that um, they also told you to take all of your jewelry off and here's the thing like I don't want to just set my wedding rings on like the counter that you have there and possibly have it fall somewhere or I don't want to put it like in my bag in the room where my clothes are you know what I mean that are just like out in the open I guess I could have put them in the locker but even that it's just it was really like weird like they should at least have like a little dish or something to put that in I don't know minuscule but anyway I thought that was really weird that they didn't help with the barrier cream and then um sorry Lizzie's bark barking so I thought that was really weird and then um, she did the different standing positions and that was fine she was spraying me and it was fine and um, one of the things that I had asked when I had called on the phone before was um, 
I don't know if you've heard of them. You probably know about them. It's basically a sticker of like a heart or a star and you put it on before you tan and then when you take it off, it looks like a tattoo and you it's like how you can tell like how dark you were before or how light you were before versus how dark you are now. It's kind of like cute. So I would wanted one of those and they were like, oh yeah, we have those. Great, cool. So I'd mentioned it to my girl when I got there and she, same thing. Oh yeah, we have those. We'll do that, blah, blah, blah. So once we're in the room, like she didn't bring it in. I guess she forgot. I don't know. And then before I knew it, she was spraying me and it was too late. So I didn't get that, which I was told no problem they were going to do. So that sucked because I was like, oh, I kind of wanted to compare. Luckily for me, I kept my underwear on so I could still see like a difference in color, but... It, I know it would have been cute to have like a little little tan tattoo so anyway that happened and then the spraying was okay there was at one point where um I mean some people I guess are going in there to look natural but that wasn't really my goal like it's a fake tan I'm not fooling anybody so at one point the underneath of this arm here she got really lightly like barely anything and so once she did everything, I was like, oh, you know, do you go over spots or I do this? She's like, oh, I'm a perfectionist. I go over spots, you know, like this is just like the first layer, blah, blah, blah. So she's like basically done turning the machine off. And I'm like, oh, can you like get the like insides of my arms again? They look really light still. Like um, she's like, oh, well, the sun usually doesn't hit there. So, you know, we don't usually do that. She, I mean, I can if you want me to. And, you know, like. I don't really care if the sun doesn't hit there. I want to be like this color everywhere. And um, excuse me, I have a natural tan right now and this is not much darker than this. So yes, it does get everywhere. Like the sun is going to touch the inside of your arm too. Thanks. So anyway, I said, yeah, I would like you to do it again. Like, <laughs> you know, oh, I can if you want to. So I said, yeah, that would be nice. Like, you know, just like another coat of it. And she's like, yeah, yeah. And then forgot, I don't know didn't do it so I was like okay <sighs> so that was the the experience she was a really nice girl I definitely felt like we were just like quick in and out like I'm just a number didn't really have the best customer service like kind of irritated in any question I had which I can understand if um I don't, I can't really understand, to be honest, because I worked in the service industry a long, long time. And especially if you're a first time guest, you're going to have questions and it's normal. And I don't think that should be annoying to have someone who's never had this done before question things and just, you know, want some extra guidance, especially since they gave absolutely no guidance or information was given without me asking. So that was frustrating. So then um, I go back in the room to put my clothes on. They say to bring like dark loose fitted clothes, blah, blah, blah. And um, I brought the thing that I normally wear when I tan. It's just like, it's a strapless dress. It's short and it's, you know, whatever. I don't care if it gets dirty, it's fine. So I put that on and I notice I have a vlog. I vlogged right after. Um, it's, you know, a couple weeks back. I think it's like tan and gone wrong or something. Um, they, I noticed there are like streaks all across my chest, right? And then they, on my back and anywhere anything has touched, there's like streaks. And I'm like, oh, like, is this okay? Like, what's happening? And she's like, oh, you know, it's just the, she called them the bronzer drops that go inside the spray tan, which was like the color block. I've dealt with color black before. I get it. Like, I have color block on the tanner that I use. It's how you know where the tan is going and that doesn't actually develop, that washes off. The product underneath develops. So I was like, oh, okay, got it. Like, wasn't worried. And I was like, does that happen a lot? Like, that it just seems like it's, it's getting everywhere. And she's like, well, I mean, that's not what I do. I do this other service that's translucent, so you can't see it, but it develops over time. And like, that's what I do. That's what most of the girls here do. And I'm thinking like, Hi, I'm first time here. Don't you think that would be good to have mentioned before you decided to take me into this service? Like, talk to me about what service would be the best for me? Like, it just seemed really like, oh, okay, like after the fact, no one actually does this. They do this service instead. And then she also said they had mentioned a few different add-ons um, in the beginning, which were like $7 add-ons. Um, one was like a moisture lock and then... I honestly don't even remember what the other two were but anyway she said like usually people who do this one they also get the moisture lock so that 
it like helps with the bronzer drops like helps them not get everywhere and so I'm thinking also like they had mentioned the add-ons but they gave no like information on what they were or why they would be beneficial they basically were just like these are you know some of the add-ons you can do do you want them no okay like I was <laughs> like maybe you should have told me what these mean and what they do and then I would have been willing to spend the extra seven dollars which honestly I wouldn't have because I'd been like uh this service should be good enough on its own we shouldn't need to add things to make it good you know what I mean I feel like that's BS so that was frustrating so then that was the service go home the bronzer drops got on everything and I mean it washed off it's fine but like I said, I've been tanning a long time and I've tanned with lots of different products and the color block never gets on anything. Like at worst it's sticky for a little bit or like looks weird, looks maybe splotchy, but it washes off and it's fine. It doesn't get everywhere. This stuff got everywhere. It got on my clothes, it got on my sheets, it got on anything I touched. Some of it got on Blizzard when he wiped by me. Like everywhere it was ridiculous and she had said like the next morning after it develops um don't wash your body with soap just wash it with water just rinse it off or you won't look as dark aka if you rinse all the bronzer drops off you're not going to look as dark because the bronzer drops are going to be gone and the actual tan is just going to be there and so you're not going to look as dark because the product isn't that great like, what is that? So, and I'm like, I'm about to leave on a trip. And also, even if I wasn't, even if I was just around the house, I'm not gonna rinse my body after this has happened. Like, I'm gonna want to wash lightly with, you know, not harsh soap and, you know, no loofah or anything. But like, hi, I'm not gonna just rinse in the water and like pat dry. Are you kidding me? That's gross. So that was frustrating. <laughs> so the next morning, I washed it like a normal person. And um, I noticed that the color was not anything I could have achieved on my own. Honestly, my own tanner, the, I have a medium and a dark, the dark one would have come out darker than this was. And it wasn't even because she, I don't think she did that, that great of a job applying it because, you know, I guess she was only going for where the sun hits, which is not what most people want when they get a tan. Um, so that was frustrating and the worst part I think is the way it wore because again one of the main reasons I got it was so that it would last longer than my tan lasts normally so I noticed during the trip that the first time I showered it looked quite a bit lighter and then by the next day I've been wearing um, I don't know what kind of sandals they're called. They're like sandals that wrap around your ankle and like it kind of zips up the back. Um, I forget what that's called. But anyway, I was wearing like sandals that wrapped around my ankle and I noticed by the second day that anywhere my shoe had touched or rubbed, the tan was completely gone. It was like, it was like a reverse tan line when I took my shoe off. I was so irritated. Anywhere where my skin rubs a lot, it was gone. Like, gone. It was ridiculous. Like, I paid a lot, I think, for this. Especially considering I had product at home for free that I could have used. And it, it just, like, didn't even work. So, that really sucked. Because... I got it so that it would last and it would look good all weekend at least and I think it should have lasted even longer um, I wasn't I don't think I was sweating more than normal um, I was definitely active the whole time but it wasn't you know it wasn't abnormal for me because I'm an active person so it just it was just stupid I was <laughs> so irritated um, from from beginning to end with the way customer service was uncomfortable and they were kind of irritated with questions and I was very much on my own with the whole thing to the bronzer drops getting everywhere to the tan not being as dark as I wanted to the tan not lasting like the whole thing will you could say it's something I'm never gonna do again and like I said I don't know if it was just that place um, I don't know if all spray tans are like that, but what I do know is I wasted money where I could have just done it myself at home and come out with the color I liked and had it last longer than this stuff did. So that's very frustrating and that is my review of my spray tan that I got before my wedding adventure.
Thank God it wasn't my wedding because I'd have been pissed. <laughs> that would have sucked really bad. But yeah, that's what my experience was. Uh, like you said, I don't know if I want to put the name of the company just because even though it was a review, I, I don't know if, I mean, everyone's experience is different and everyone's whatever is different, but that's the experience I had and it was unfortunate. And let this be a warning to all of you ladies and possibly men out there who were thinking about getting a spray tan. One, for sure do your research to read reviews, watch reviews of what other people have said about the place. And I guess don't have your expectations super high because maybe that's where I went wrong. But again, I say, I know, because I've been doing it a long time, I know I could have had a better result as far as color and lasting had I just done it myself with my product at home, which is a third of the price and lasts, I don't know, eight applications. So, very frustrating. Very frustrating. So yeah, that's my review. Um, I will see you guys tomorrow with a regular vlog. I hope you enjoyed my review, and I hope you maybe learned something from this. Uh, and yeah, love you guys so much. Thank you for watching, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye! <laughs>